show today, man. One of my favorite days. That actually is the favorite day. I know y'all see me bench all the time, but shoulder is my favorite day. Make sure you like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hit the notification button. Greatly appreciate it. Had to play with the algorithms a little bit. See when the best time from our videos we posted, and I believe it's going to be Monday at noon, Friday at noon. Those are the videos you would get from me. The rest of the week could just be short. So support everything I'm doing, man. Cause I'm doing good shit, bro. I ain't on no bullshit, man. You know what I'm saying? Link in the description for the winter trip to LA in the Arnold Classic with the Sons of the Beast, me, Flex Wheeler, CG Fletcher, TD Smash, Judas Maz, and Don Singleton. We will be speaking on the panel in LA. You'll be able to go with us and get $1,000 in your pocket. VIP access to everything. Because I know y'all want to kick it with me. <laughs> Just me anyway. But yeah, man, I'm going to hit shoulders today, man. There are days where I superset. There are days with Giant Set. Today we're just gonna do two exercises per delt. Right now we start off with the rear delts with the cables, then we'll go over to the dumbbells. But today I got a serious topic I wanna to talk about. You may not be laughing and giggling too much on this one. This, this it's, it's been kind of messing with me seriously after, especially after losing my father. So y'all stay tuned, man. Else is super important. I neglected them for a long time myself. They're super important for pulling and pushing. When you start lopsiding your delts, normally most of us got big front delts because of a lot of pushing. So you got to get the rear delts together, man. Start pulling your shoulders forward is something I got to work on my son with. He got big ass front delts. Start pulling your chest shoulders forward. You can you can start getting subjected to injury. So make sure y'all hit the rear delts. So for, if y'all new to me, man, y'all know I lost my father. Uh, for those who don't know, I lost my father September 15th, ironically on my mother's birthday. Me and my father wasn't close growing up. Um, over the last 12 to 15 years, he's been paralyzed. I've been helping take care of him. He's been in a, in a um, assistant living facility. And you know, we got real close, like real close. He developed a relationship with me as well as my kids. And he's he been more of a father to me as an adult than he was when I was a kid. And you know, it was tough to see him go. You know what I mean? It was a lot, I grew up an athlete. So he wasn't at anything. I say that to say this. The relationship that we built, you know, kind of made me kind of, it, it hurt a little bit because it's like, yo, damn, why you ready to leave now? He had cancer. And my dad been in the chair since 2008, so. You know, I've been, I've been kicking around what would I feel like, and I had to stop being selfish and had let him understand that it was okay for him to leave. And that was one of the conversations that I had with him before he actually passed. I told him, Pops, everybody cool, man. You, damn, man, keep it rolling. I told him, I said, Pops, everybody cool. You can, you can, you can go. So, I'm watching this on social media and I'm watching it in the media and, and I'm watching super uh, successful, especially African-American males, have so much to say about LeBron James and his son. And my son loves working out. My son is an athlete. One of, one of, one of my best moments was actually watching my son bench and him bench, going through a bench routine with me. That video was on my IG, actually him go through a bench routine with me. And, and it's sad that that so many people have an issue with that. I'm hearing he's spoiled. What fucking kid who daddy ain't a billionaire spoiled? <sighs> Nepotism. Our president and father gave him a million dollars. Why? Because that's his son. That's his son. So look, son, I'm going to make sure you don't ever have to worry about nothing. Take this money and do good by it. Now he's been a president twice now. And we have a problem with a man getting his kid on in his bit and he's actually can play basketball like he used to do in the backyard for somebody who don't have a father himself 
and we have an issue with that. Do y'all know for my dad to just show up at a game how I would have felt? And I see a lot of that shit being mental health problems. Like some of y'all, some of y'all got horrible relationships with your kids. Some of y'all don't have a father neither. So how could y'all sit here and point those fingers and call those things nepotism? And then, yes, bro, that's America. If you work for corporate America, somebody daddy passed that down to their children. So you work for somebody, kid. The owner of the Lakers is somebody's daughter, Jerry Buss. So the first time we see an African-American athlete do something like this, when, when it's been many of, see y'all just don't know because it ain't LeBron James. It's been many of people who got, matter of fact, it is African-American now. Jawan Howard's son played. I guarantee most of y'all fake fans don't know Jawan Howard had a son. But he's on the court for the Lando Magic's. And guess who the coach? One of the coaches is Jawan Howard. So it's crazy to me, man, that we do that. And all I could think about was, man, if I could just, my dad was a good athlete too. He could hoop and everything. Now I ain't get to play a pickup game with my pops, man. Like y'all make it, y'all make it just as about sports. And a lot of that is just jealousy. It ain't, it ain't sports, bro. It ain't sports, especially us African-American men who a lot of us didn't grow up with a pops. So to watch somebody who mama, mama struggled growing up, he was living in this house, that house, and that thing, and we mad at that? Come on, man. Come on, motherfucker. The Humpty Dance. Yeah. I ain't rich. Just a black man caught up in the mix. Trying to make a dollar out of 15 cents. Oh, that's hurt. That. <sighs> Neat. I'm gonna get you a little something to eat. Come on, get some to eat. Oh. Dude, it don't even matter, like, you can like Jordan, whoever, you know what I'm saying? At some point, man, it, it's like I said, certain shit bigger than basketball. When I got kids as athletes, and we, we, we look to our kids to see as people as role models. Somebody who playing the game for 22 years at a high level. Somebody who has the same girlfriend since high school. Somebody who is clearly a good father. Apart from what y'all feel about him getting a son in the NBA, like, like that's that's madness to me, man. That's madness. That's inspiring to me. That put that makes me push more, you know, and want to do better for my kids, you know, especially my son who wants to do every fucking thing I do. So like, it's bigger than that. You can like Jordan. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck about no shoes. I mean, I do love the sixes. I'm starting to have a little liking for the ones. But other than that, bro, I don't. It's bigger than basketball, bro. Like, Jordan's son is famous for being with Scottie Pippen's ex-wife. Jordan's son also is famous for snoring coke. Like, why are we make it? And then they say, well, what about the what about the other players who work so hard that deserve it? Why didn't get picked 54 times before that? The Ronnie James was ranked 54 coming out of the draft, bro. He got picked at 50 or 55 coming out of the draft. He got picked at 55. Like. The only reason why the G League is getting exposure is because of him. The only reason why it was a second round draft pick of the NBA is because of him. And most of y'all not even fans. Y'all just haters. I'm gonna just keep it real. Y'all, y'all, y'all just haters. Like y'all need to watch it. I watch NBA games all, all the time. Just like I watch football. I'm a huge sports historian. Go on one of my live videos on Instagram. I don't Google nothing. They would tell you, people would be shocked. I don't Google anything. So we 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 make excuses for people. And I hate hearing what people think what somebody else deserves. Who the fuck is you to tell somebody what they deserve? Who the fuck is you? You sitting on a fucking couch. You watching the ESPN, bro. Who the fuck is you to tell somebody they deserve? You know what I'm saying? Go, go, what are you giving your kids? Your kids gonna get an education. They gonna work for a company that's owned by somebody's kid. What you mean? So, so somebody who provided a way for his own. We not talking basketball. We talking fatherhood, bro. I'm talking to you fucking men. Like, what the fuck? Y'all y'all wouldn't want that for your kid? Oh, he don't travel with the G League. First of all, what billionaire kid just go to regular places anyway? And not only that, he has a heart condition that he has to stay with his doctor. But you dummies that don't know that. And the team doctor's not gonna travel with the G League, bro. So, I'm inspired by this shit. I'm not a hater, bro. Like, my daddy wasn't in my life. I could very well be bitter, but that, that's inspiring to me, man. When I seen them two in the court, that shit almost made me tear up for real. Like, y'all, y'all, 
Like, it's, it's wild to me, man. Yo, first of all, none of y'all probably never even got a varsity letter to be talking about hoop anyway. Come on, man, come on. Come on, bitch. Hey, guys, uh, it's just it's just amazing to me, man. Like I'm a I'm a historian of sports, and I love seeing success, whether it's whoever. I'm still mad that Pete Rose didn't get the love he got. Pete Rose is the hit machine, you know what I'm saying? He gambled, okay, cool, but you know, I don't, like I just appreciate good sports, right? You know what I mean? And everybody defended Pete Rose, but we talk about a man who ain't got a notch under his belt with no negativity. You know, you might not agree with his political views. Well, most of y'all don't know the difference between the two parties anyway. And so what? That's what America's built on, somebody's political views and the right to have their own fucking opinion. You cannot care about it all you want, but to hate somebody over it, y'all sound corny. Now, yeah, people who do that is the corniest people in the world, and y'all only smart every four years when you start Googling shit. You ain't smart because you can copy and paste something somebody else say. Motherfucker, you ain't researched that. You know, and people, oh, he, he sold out on Cleveland. I'm in Ohio, bro. I'm here now, and this snowy motherfucker right now. I'm a Browns fan, Buckeyes fan, growed up Cavs fan. I don't give a fuck that LeBron left Cleveland. I don't care that he left Cleveland. It's business, this is the biggest of business. Most of y'all will leave your job and go move to another city for a quarter fucking raise. A quarter raise, I know people who've done it. I know people who've done it, real talk. And then y'all talking about, oh, you're brown sexuals. Y'all come up weird, we're brown sexuals? So what is you people who who all own Jordan's nuts? Who, what, do, what do we call you motherfuckers? And most of y'all weren't even born to see Jordan play all 13 of his years, because I know y'all like to believe he only played six. But he had a three-peat, okay? So what? I'm talking about what we're seeing today with our own eyes. We will never see this again. When LeBron leaves the NBA, the NBA ain't shit. And for people who real fans like me, Kevin, Kevin Durant, great player, don't really play. Seth Curry is up there too. He'll be going soon too. We got Ant-Man, we got these guys, but we will never see this shit again. Like, like, I'm talking about who cares about the sport. Talk about the actual event that is happening. Any father coming up right now, anybody coming up right now, man, get your son, man. If you got a son, even if your daughter. I was out there hitting the volleyball with my daughter. I can't play no goddamn volleyball. I'm throwing, throwing pitches to my oldest back in the day, throwing, playing catch with them, and I ain't never played no baseball. Y'all looking at this shit on some other shit, bro. This is this is this is magical, man. For parents, especially for people like me again, who didn't have his father until he was older. Like motherfuckers, hate is so disgusting. But again, this is why I speak on mental health so much, because I believe a lot of that is that, man. Call your daddy, man. Forgive your father for what he did or didn't do. Real shit. I used to work in the school system. I used to work in the school system, public school system here. I had a behavioral intervention program. Let me tell you something, man. Motherfuckers got a lot of nerve to talk about somebody's kids being spoiled. You motherfuckers make it every excuse. I've had parents come in and say, I'll call them on the phone, because I'm from the old school, bro. Like, I don't care what none of y'all think. I used to get my ass whooped. I used to get whoopings that that put my mom in jail and grandma in jail for life. Shit, every female in my family, you know, we got village whoopings. But guess what? I'm a published book author. Owned the business. Created my own program in the school system with no education in that. Come on, man. Whoopings did me good. Your boy had one case to fuck with. Just one, that's it. That's it. So, I ain't do no time in prison. Now, I ain't saying I was perfect. I was a wild motherfucker, I did wild shit. But for the most part, 
Sugar, my mama, that's my mama Sugar. Miss Mary, my grandmama Aunt Gina. Dinky, my Aunt Mary. Uncle Greg, Uncle Ronnie, Uncle Carl, come on, man. It, it, my cousins, older cousins, we, we, we was, it was a village raising pe the kids back in the day, so I don't even wanna hear that spoiled shit. Most of you motherfuckers won't even take your kid PlayStation. Take your kid phone when they get F's or say fuck you to your, to your teacher. Y'all motherfuckers talking about how somebody's kid's spoiled when your kid's bad as fuck. Smoking weed at the age of four. Yeah, they say, LeBron's son hit a vape pen one time, that was it. But I don't even wanna hear that shit. Cause most of y'all smoke weed anyway, so it's like a known thing. But y'all talk all that shit and, and be running motherfuckers mouths and talking about what somebody kid is for and shit. And I know parents, the kid got four hundred dollar pair of fucking shoes on, and the motherfuckers ain't got a goddamn grade point average. The motherfucker got a 0 0.1. That's just putting your name on the fucking page. So who the fuck is y'all to talk about somebody kids for? Your kid got three felonies and he got Jordans on his feet. The fuck is you talking about? There we go. So that's it, man. Good shoulder workout, man. Like I said, you know, my sets I keep in between four. Four reps of uh, between 12 and 15. So y'all know me, man. This ain't just a fitness channel. This We don't have real talk. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I feel like it's more to offer than just, hey, how you get swole? Who gives a fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, I want people who never worked out before to be like, hey, I like what he's talking about. I think I'm going to go to the gym. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I'll inspire a couple people to do so. So. We in our 40s, bro. It's bigger than fitness. And that's what I was talking about with this whole subject. It's bigger than just basketball, man. What, what I'm seeing personally is remarkable. I don't care what your opinion is or who you like. I respect your opinion. But I think a lot of times, opinions and hate is kind of, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got to juggle what the fuck is really opinion and hating. You know what I'm saying? So, but uh, like, subscribe to YouTube channel, man. In the description, call merch is in the description. Come kick it with us in LA and at the Arnold Classic, get a thousand dollars in your pocket, buy me something with it. So, okay, here's the thing. If, if you win from my list, you gotta spend five hundred dollars of your thousand on me. Yeah, that's the thing. You don't have to do that. But definitely would love y'all to support sonsoverbees.org, link in the description, and I'll see y'all next time.